Today we'll be looking at how you can use a Zuri strategy to trade uh, gold. How you can use Zuri strategy to trade XAUUSD. Now, I have uh, the gold chart, XAUUSD chart on one hour ch time frame. Uh, the first thing I will do is to uh, uh, the first thing I'll do is to bring up the period separator. Bring up the period separator, right click on your chart with the right mouse button, click on properties, and then click on show period separators. Okay, that's that. Then the next thing I'll do is to um, map out or count the periods. This particular period here represents the the, the current or the previous day. Uh, this particular period here, let me highlight it with the shape. Uh, this is the previous previous day. We are on a weekend, Saturday, uh, the 25th of July, 2020. This is the previous day, this Friday, uh, this Thursday, Wednesday, Wednesday, Tuesday, and so on. So, what I will do is to number these periods. I'm going to number the periods uh the the current day i'm going to put it as um let me give it number one i'm going to give the current day number one then the next previous day i'm going to give it number two i'm going to number the days the last 10 days i'm going to try to number the last 10 days on the chart so that we can understand this strategy how it works so this the the the, the, the previous day one the next day I'm going to call it two so that we can understand how this strategy works and next one three this is the third gonna be my third uh previous day fourth previous day so the idea is to number all the days up to 10 up to the last 10 days let me call this five i'm going to drag this to the middle and this six And I'm going to have number seven here to be my number seven. And I'll have my number eight around here. And the nine, ninth day around here. And this will be my tenth day. Okay. Now, the next step is to highlight the days, the 6th to 10th day with a shape. Okay. This is my 6th to 10th day. I have my 1st to 5th previous days. This is my previous day. This is the 5th day. This is the 6th to 10th day so the next thing i will do is to load moving averages we are going to load moving average indicators the first indicator moving average indicator will be our uh, 50 ema 
50 exponential moving average. I'm going to give it color blue. That's that. And the next indicator will be our 35 EMA. We'll color it green. And the final one will be our 21 EMA. I'm going to color that yellow. Okay. Now the idea surrounding the moving averages is as the yellow moving average cross above the green and the blue moving averages, you have a buy. But if the yellow moving average cross below, cross down on the two other moving averages, you have a sell. Now if price tests, we are looking at the one hour time frame. If price tests and bounces on the 21 EMA, the yellow line, then we may have a, an uptrend like we have here. Price keeps testing and then bouncing off, then we have breakout. Tests bounce up, we have breakout and goes higher tests bounce up we have breakout price goes higher tests bounce up so we expect price to continue to bounce up until price meets resistance but in the situation whereby price breaks the 21 closes below the 21 and further breaks the 35 close below it and also breaks the 50 EMA and closes below the 50 EMA. We may have a retracement or reversal of price. Okay, that's that. So the next step is to draw our horizontal lines. The first horizontal line that we are going to draw, the color will be yellow. We are going to draw horizontal lines to map out the previous day I. This is the previous day I day one. The high price is around here. The highest price is around here. So we're just going to place this yellow horizontal line directly above that high price. Now the net they are also going to map out the lowest price point. The, the lowest price point on the chart is around here. So we are going to map out the lowest price point so we have the high the low these are our support previous day supports and these are previous day resistance now with the way it is now price closed up just under the previous day resistance so when market opens on sunday night price may open and give us a gap above the previous day resistance so if that happens we may continue to have an uptrend so but if price reverses and retraces and then closes below previous day low then we may have our reversal or retracement now the next uh, is to map out the highest price point for our five day period we're going to color that green the highest point is just above our previous day uh resistance five day one two three four five so the highest price point around this within this five day uh uh region is around here this is where we can find the highest price point now we're also going to mark the lowest price point the lowest price point is somewhere around here so these are our supports for the previous five days our support is around here and we have a resistance here so that means in the last five days price closed at the highest just under the highest point so 
um the next will be to map out the highest point for the last six to ten days now this is the orange color uh, region here Co orange colored region here last six to ten days the color for the horizontal line will be uh, magenta let's uh, select magenta okay so the highest point in the last six to ten days is around here and then we're also going to map the lowest price point within that region within that area this is the lowest price point around here so that's that now finally the highest price point on the entire chart area in view our entire chart area in view we're going to color that blue blue color this is the highest price point for the entire chart area also we are going to map out the lowest price point which is just under the six to ten uh six to ten day region around here so we're going to we're going to, we're going to leave that as that so we have a support here where we have two or more lines we have a support area now we have the two lines we have the magenta line here and the blue lines here the blue line here so we have two lines here so this is the support area we have three lines here we have the yellow green and blue this is a st strong resistance area the strong resistance area now we have the previous day support here. this is a minor support we also have the six to ten day resistance here it's also minor and then we have the five day low here which is also minor but where we have two or more the resistance or support is stronger at that point now the next step is to draw the 30 day trend lines 30 day trend line to achieve that we are going to zoom in this zoom out this zoom in we're going to zoom in as much as possible okay we're going to zoom zoom out we're going to zoom out as much as possible count up to 30 30 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 so our 30 period starts around here somewhere around there so we are going to draw trend lines for us to have a channel around here okay trend line is going to touch one tip to another tip two or more tip price tip where you have the spike or the weak trend line will touch two or more so we have the lower trend line we can have our upper trend line as well okay that's the upper trend line. So upper trend line. Touching a tip here. One, two, three. Two or more tip. Now, if we zoom out, we can also have another trend line here. I also have another trend line here. Touching two or more tip. And we can have another one here. A 
okay now the idea is the uh we have um a major trend line these are major trend line this channel is a major trend line then we have a minor trend line breaking out upwards we have a minor trend line breaking out upward here so if we zoom zoom in we can see the moving averages crossing and cutting the major upper trend line to give us more uh, indication that price will continue to go up so the trend grows stronger around here but uh, along the line we have minor other minor trend lines we have other minor trend lines where moving average also break price and moving average also break as uh, the channel forms okay so I have another one here where we have price breaking the, the channel that the trend line forms and you can see the structure price structure okay so the summary of this strategy is when the moving averages when they break the trend line up you have greater chances of a buy or upward movement of price when the moving averages break the trend line down like we have it going up here if it now comes down and break this upper trend line downwards then we may have our retracement or reversal uh, price movement but for now price is under the strong resistance area that is recently formed and then if price continues up if price continues up there is higher tendency that the moving averages will also what continue to point almost upwards but for now i personally expect a minor retracement i personally expect a minor retracement for price to come to somewhere around the, the previous day low here before price continue continue its direction upwards so that is that for this strategy it's a good strategy you can use it to analyze place of resistance strong resistance major resistance minor resistance weak resistance you can use it to identify your major trend or your minor trend like our major trend is this upward we we'll have minor trend here we have another minor trend here okay sellers will come in here sell up to this point and if they don't get out on time they get trapped and the major trend continues we have another minor trend here okay sellers jumping around here they sell up to this point and then the buyer step in and price continue so i will expect something like that somewhere around here i expect something like that around here but if it does not happen the price may continue to go up but our support is along this line we have a support here for our previous day low although it's a minor support 
So it's going to have a support along this lower, uh, this upper trend line. I'm trying to this trend line here. So price is expected to touch here and then go up. So that's that for Zuri strategy. It's a good strategy. You like it? It will, it will help you to forecast where price is, what price is actually going to do. You actually see what price is doing, then you'll be able to forecast what price may likely do. So for the forecast of XAUSD, price may break this strong resistance and continue up. Or price may retrace along this uh, forecasted channel and then continue its way up. So that's that for this strategy. You can go to our website 